Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. In this video, we're going to be solving a problem that was suggested by one of my viewers, highly educated trucker. Thank you for the suggestion. We're going to be looking for Z values for which this equation is true. So our equation is 2 to the power Z equals 4. And we're going to look at it obviously in the complex world. I know you have the obvious solution, but we're going to look for all solutions. So to be able to solve this problem, we have to do a couple things. We have to complexify everything. So we're going to use Euler's formula and the polar form. Remember, a complex number can be written as r times e to the power i theta, where r is the modulus and theta is the angle. OK, or r is also called the absolute value or the norm sometimes. So this is the real axis, this is the imaginary axis, so on and so forth. So we're going to have to basically write two numbers in complex form, 2 and 4. But 2 can already be turned into a power of e by using this identity. What is that identity? a equals e to the power ln a. Because e to the power x and ln x are inverse functions, so they kind of undo each other. So we can basically write this as follows. 2 to the z equals 4. Now I'm going to write the 2 as e to the power ln 2, and that will be multiplied by z, and that's going to equal 4. We could also write this as e to the power z ln 2, which is a little better. And now let's go ahead and multiply this 4 by 1. And now, by using 1, I can basically write it as e to the power 2 pi n i. Now, 2 pi represents 0, or 2 pi, or 4 pi, any multiple of 2 pi radians, which basically gives us a 1 on the complex plane. And by multiplying it by 4, I'm basically taking care of the modulus, because in this case, notice that it's written in the form r e to the i theta, so 4 is going to be r. Make sense? And then what we're going to do with this is we're going to naturally log both sides, bring the powers down, and solve for z. Let's do it and see what that looks like. Okay, let me just write this a little better. z times ln 2. Now, I'm going to ln both sides. That's going to bring down this. So that's going to be ln e to the z ln 2 equals ln 4 times e to the power 2 pi n i. But this is a product, so ln of a product can be written as product, I mean, sum of two lns, right? In other words, ln ab is ln a plus ln b, okay? Or if you wanted to do it in a more general form, because a, b don't have to be real numbers, if you have something like ln r times e to the i theta, this is going to turn into ln r plus ln e to the i theta. But then you can bring this to the front and ln e is 1, so this is going to become ln r plus i theta. And obviously there are multiple values for theta because you can always add multiples of 2 pi. So r is real here, so this is the real uh, logarithm. Okay? All right, cool. Let's go ahead and simplify it that way. And from the left-hand side, we get this number. We can bring that to the front as z ln 2. And then this is going to become 2 pi n i. So z ln 2 equals ln 4 ln 4 plus 2 pi n i. Awesome. Now, at this point, since you want to solve for z, it would make sense to divide everything by ln 2. Let's do it. z equals ln 4. I don't know why we have this problem with notability sometimes. The pen doesn't want to work or some type of issue. I don't know what it is. Anyways, 2 pi n divided by ln 2, and that is multiplied by i. I want to separate the i so that I can show you the real part and the imaginary part. But one thing we can do, by the way, this is the imaginary part, and this is the real part. One thing I can do with the real part is simplify it, because ln 4 is ln 2 squared, and it can be written as 2 ln 2, which gives us an awesome result, which is actually a real number without the ln. So it's just 2, and we'll talk about this. So z equals 2 plus 2 pi n over ln 2 times i. 
So basically the answer is a complex number in standard form such as a plus bi where a is the real part and b is the imaginary part. Make sense? So this would be the solution. But let's go ahead and take a look at some special cases because those cases are very special. And again, thank you, highly educated trucker, for this suggestion because this was a beautiful problem in my opinion. And if you have any suggestions in the future, please let me know. You can write a comment and just let me know if you have any good problems on complex numbers because this channel is all about complex numbers. So 2 to the z equals 4. So obviously z equals 2 is an obvious solution. But how does that uh, come from here if you replace and with 0, you get z equals 2. So that's a particular value for a certain choice of n. But since n is any integer, we have infinitely many solutions for this in the complex world. That's what complex numbers awesome because we get infinitely many solutions from this simple equation. Okay? Now, what happens if n is equal to 1? Then you get z equals 2 plus... 2 pi over ln 2 multiplied by n. And whatever that is, the real part of all the solutions are always going to be at 2, which is the real solution to this equation. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.